Welcome to AM Best Audio. According to a new AM Best report, the workers' compensation segment continues to outperform every other line of business in the U.S. property casualty industry, bolstered by ongoing declines in loss frequency and favorable reserve development. I'm John Weber for AM Best TV, and we're joined today by two of the authors of a new Best Market Segment report, aptly titled, Workers' Compensation's Winning Streak Continues, Associate Director David Blades and Senior Industry Research Analyst Chris Graham. So, Chris, what's setting Workers' Comp apart from the rest of the PC industry? Uh, Good morning, John. Thanks for having me. You know, there's a lot going on with workers' comp. You know, we'll break it down into the components we talked about as we go through the, the lost time frequency and the reserves. Uh, but where you see it in the results, you know, the, the loss ratio is, is far better. The combined ratio is 15 points better than the rest of the PC industry. And then you throw on top of that the longer tail for the, for the uh, payout means there's more um economic income of the reserves as they're as you're getting investment income on them so the operating ratio for workers comp is you know 15 points better than the rest of the industry and it's it's leading to you know significant income for the entire line you mentioned reserves it's safe to assume then that reserves are playing a role in the positive results <laughs> reserves are playing a, a big role in the positive results it, the, the line had a six billion dollar, almost seven billion dollar uh, reserve takedown during the year. So that's all uh, income in the calendar year uh, for, for for the line. So that that's where you're, you know you're looking at the loss ratio being much better than the, the than the rest of the industry. Uh, as a matter of fact, the reserves for workers comp, the reserve takedown was greater than the rest of the industry as a whole. So if you Basically, what you're looking at there is other than workers' comp, the industry had reserve increases. Uh, Workers' comp was sufficient enough to outperform the the rest of all property insurance, uh, property casualty insurance lines together. What have you been noticing in regards to lost time claims frequency? Uh, Claims frequency has had a long term downward trend, other than uh a, a couple spikes that we saw coming out of the uh the great recession and coming out of the pandemic in in 2020 it, there's a lot going on that makes you know, workers comp um safer i should i should let's say it the work environment is safer because of you know improvements in technology and then there's medical advances that allow workers to return to work faster. So, if, you know, if, when you have, a, you know, an injured worker, you know, the workers' compensation insurance is, you know, might not kick in on the first day that the worker misses time. So you get a faster return to work. You're not going to have the lost time claims for, for a lot of these workers. So all these factors considered, you know, we continue to see a decline in uh, workplace injuries and work and lost time claims, and you know, eventually, I guess you you know you would hit a spot where the, you know you can't go any lower. But it seems like we're not there yet, so there's still room for even more. Customize your data experience. Best Link now offers an interactive company dashboard that provides company level intelligence in a fast, user friendly interface featuring interactive tables, charts, and Sparkline performance histories. Customize the dashboard tiles to prioritize the insurer ratings, data, and analytics that best support your workflow. AM Best Our insight, your advantage. David, along those lines, medical severity remains low for an amazingly long time, since 2009, as a matter of fact. How is that contributing to the results? Yeah, well, like you said, medical severity has definitely been uh, consistent for a long time, you know, as has um, indemnity severity early or, or overall. From a medical severity standpoint, there have been a few different things that have kind of factored into it. Um, you've got state fee schedules that have helped uh, overall to, to keep costs down. Like Chris mentioned, there are also different initiatives that 
uh, insurance companies and their uh, their commercial policyholders have undertaken to really kind of hone in on uh, some of the costs. We just mentioned you know some of the return to work policies, um, you know return to work initiatives, workplace safety, and some of those initiatives that they that the insurance companies have worked with um, with their insureds have definitely you know help keep costs down. And and what that's done over time is that since loss development factors generally take into account 20 years worth uh, of uh, you know experience the fact that medical severity has been trending lower than the, the you know consumer price index and even the medical consumer price index over time what we've seen is that the reserves that have been put up for those 20 year uh, 20 years worth of, of data they've proven to be uh, relatively conservative so as those reserves get taken down and, and that that amount um, that money comes into income, it helps to improve the calendar year results for workers' compensation. So medical severity, really, you know, because of the work that the insurance companies have done from a loss control perspective, and and how they've partnered uh, with their commercial policyholders, uh, that's really had a good impact uh, on them from a profitability perspective, from an overall standpoint uh, for the workers' comp industry. So David, is it all unicorns and rainbows, or are there some challenges ahead for workers' comp? Well, I think there, there are definitely things that we're looking at that could be challenges for workers' comp. Again, workers' compensation is definitely uh, subjected to factors, you know, in terms of impacting the economy. And when we look at, you know, workers' compensation, obviously the, pay, the premium for workers' compensation is generated off payroll. So when you look at the fact that earlier this year we've seen unemployment creeping up a little bit, you um, um, couple that with the fact that rates have been going down for a while, and that could have an impact on overall workers' compensation premiums to offset, obviously, or to pay for the losses. So if we see trends going in that direction where it's having a material impact on workers' compensation insurers, that's something that could produce somewhat of a headwind. Uh, we talked earlier about um, medical uh, severity and, and the, those trends. If we were to see any kind of negative uh, trends in, uh, in terms of loss severity or loss frequency, that could have a negative impact on workers' compensation as well. Um, another thing is those purely psychological in injuries, things like PTSD, and not just for first uh, re first responders, but those kind. There's legislation that's looking to expand or amend uh, state laws with regards to those types of injuries, and the more that the onus for those types of injuries can be put on um, commercial insureds uh, with regards to uh, it being, you know, occupational disease and, um, you know, that, that are coming from those types of injuries. I think that's something that could have a negative impact from a claim and loss perspective on workers' compensation companies, uh, so on work, workers' compensation insurers. So that's something we're also looking at in terms of a potential negative, but there's no question, as Chris said, uh, workers' compensation has definitely been uh, the leading line from a profitability standpoint for the property casualty industry. And, and right now, it looks like that's been that has been sustainable for a while. And, and right now, even with these potential headwinds, we don't see anything on the horizon that's really going to knock workers' compensation off its track. Thanks, David. Chris, thank you, John. Thanks, John. That was Associate Director David Blades and Senior Industry Research Analyst Chris Graham. You can find the full report online at ambest.com. For AMBest TV, I'm John Weber. Looking to get the full attention of the insurance industry? We have the platforms that will do just that. Whether it be AMBest TV, AM Best Audio, Best Review Magazine, or Best Day. Find out more by calling AM Best Advertising Sales at 908 439 2200, extension 5399, and have a great day.